We continue now at the top of Daf Lamed Vav Amid Aleph and Masech Sota. This is Sota Daf 36a. The Gemara brought a brisa which said that the Kananim outside of Eretz Kanan, so they are able to do Teshuva. They're not included in the Pasuk of Lo Sechai Kol Neshama, the Pasuk which says that all of them have to be killed. The ones outside of the borders of the land are not included. And who, who does that brisa follow? Keman Karebi Shimon. Who does that follow? It follows the sheet of Rabbi Shimon, also that we brought on the previous Amr. Rashi says, Keman Karebi Shimon, Diyomar Shekosav Lahem Sheyachzru Betshuva Vika. Again, Rabbi Shimon has said they wrote on the stones that they should do Teshuvah and they would be accepted. You see, according to Rabbi Shimon, those who are outside of the borders of Eretz, of Eretz Canaan, they're not included in the Pasuk of Lo Sechaya Kol Neshama. But according to Rabbi Yehuda, even those outside of the borders are included in the Pasuk of Lo Sechaya. And the Gemara continues, Come and see how many miracles happened on that day. This is a continuation of the Toseft of the Brisa above, talking about the crossing of the Yardin. Avru Yisrael as Hayarden, Klal Yisrael crossed the Yarden, Uvo Lahar Grizim, Ulahar Evil, Yasser Mishishim Mil, and they came to Har Grizim and Har Evil. It was a distance of more than 60 mil. Vein called Birya Yechola Lamor Bifneim, and nobody was able to stand in front of them. The Chola Omid Bifneim, Yad Nitras, and anybody who stood in front of them who tried to stop them, they were immediately Nitras. Rashi says Nitras means Miskalkal Merei. It means they were so scared they weren't able to control their bowels. Shanemar, as it says in the Pasuk, as a Mosi Ashalech. And Rashi says, What's Vahamosi? It's a language of the person is so scared, and there's a confusion of the body. Again, the idea that the person was not able to control their bowels. And the Gemara continues. Again, Vahamosias Kola Am Asher Tavo Behem Vagomer, that's a continuation of the Pasuk. Vyomer in the Pasuk also says, Tipol Aleim Masa Vafachar Adi Avor Amcha Hashem. Again, there's going to be fear until your nation crosses. And we understand that to mean, what does it mean, Adi Avor Amcha Hashem Zubi Rishona? That refers to the first time they entered Eretz Canaan. That refers to the times, the, the, time they crossed the Yardin in the days of Yoshua. And then the puzzle goes on to say, Ad Yavor Amzu Kanisa. Again, it says Ad Yavor. What does that refer to? Zu Biyashnia. That refers to the second time they came into Eretz Yisrael. That's during the times of Ezra. And now we make a comparison between the two. Emor Mayata Ru'uyin Hayu Yisrael. Lasos Lahem Neis Bibiyashnia Kabir Rishona. We can say now that really Klal Yisrael at the time that they came in the second time during the days of Ezra, they should have had a miracle happen just like the first time when they came in during the times of Yoshua. Elisha Garam except that the sin caused that that did not happen they didn't have the same kind of miracles during the second time they entered the land Rashi says they should have been able to come in with strength and they shouldn't have had to serve the other nations but there were sins in the nation during in the nation of Klal Yisrael during the times of the first Beis HaMikdash, and therefore the decree was that they're only allowed to enter the land with permission from the other nations. Again, it was because of the sin that that happened. And the Brisa continues, and after this they brought the stones, and they built the Mizbeach, and they put plaster on, and they wrote on them the entire Torah in 70 languages, Shinemar, as the Pasuk says, Be'er Hetev, they wrote it clearly, Behelu Olos Shlomim, and they brought carbon olos and carbon shlomim, Ve'achlu Veshasu Vesamchu, Uverchu Vekilalu, and they ate and they drank and they were happy and they did the brachas and the klalos, Vekiplu Esu Avonu Muvo Velonu Begilgal, and then they took the stones and they brought them and they stayed overnight in Gilgal, Shinemar, as it says, Ve'avartem Osami Mochem Yinachdem Osam Bemolo, and it says that you're going to take them with you and bring them and place them where you stay, Yochol Bechol Molon O Molon, I might think every place that they stay, that's where they place the stones, Tamad Lomar Asher Tolinu Bo Halayl, it says where you're going to stay that night, Uchsivin, it says, Veshtem Esrei Hu Avonim Ha'el Asher Lochu V'Gomer, it says, these 12 stones that they took, etc. And the Gemara continues, Tana was taught in, the, in a Bryce, and this is also from the Tosefta, Tzira, the hornet, to Lo Avra Imaim, it didn't cross with them, this refers to the hornets that helped them fight, on the other side of the Yardin with Moshe Rabbeinu, and the Gemara says, Velo, is that not the case? But isn't it written, that I will send the hornets in front of you? Apparently, they did help out in the days of Yehoshua. Amr Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish says, Al Sfas Yardin Amda Vizarka ben Mara, Visimso Yenein Milmala, Visir Sosan Milmata. What happened was that these hornets, they were standing at the edge, 
at the at the banks of the river of the of the Yardin, and they stood there and they were able to throw their poison over and blind the enemies, uh, meaning blinding them from above, meaning blinding them in their eyes, and it was also able to hit them below, meaning it was able to hit them in the area where they would no longer be able to have children. Shenemar, as the pasuk says, Vanochi Ishmaditi Aso Amori Mipnehem, Asher Kegova Razum Gavo Vechosan Hu Kalonim Vashmin Pirio Mimal Visharosha Mitacha. So the pasuk over here talks about destroying the Amori, and it talks about Pirio Mimal Visharosha Mitachas, meaning above and below. That means again, it blinded them in their eyes, and it also attacked them, and they weren't able to procreate. And the Gemara continues with another answer. A Papa Amr, a Papa says, There were two sets of hornets. Chada de Moshe, one was of Moshe's. The Chada de Yoshua, and Yoshua had his own. The Moshe lo over. Moshe's didn't cross the Yardin, the Yoshua over. But Yoshua's, they did cross the Yardin. And Rashi explains, Pir Yomimal, the fruits from above. Enav, again, that refers to the blinding of the eyes. Visharosha mitachas, and when the Pasuk says the roots from below. Sirus, that refers again to the castration, as we explained. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. The Mishnah said, Shisha Shvatim Alu Larosh Hargrizim. There were six Shvatim that went to the top of Hargrizim. And the Gemara says, Mai Vahachetzio. What does the Pasuk mean when it says, Vahachetzio and Vihaf, instead of just saying Chetzio? We're referring here to the Pasuk. The Pasuk says, Chetzio El Mul Hargrizim, half towards Hargrizim, Vahachetzio El Mul Harevel. Why does it say Vahachetzio? Amr of Kahana of Kahana says, Kederech Shechaluk and Khan, in the same way that they were divided over here among Hargrizim and Harevel. The Shvatim were divided. It says in the Psukim, some went on Hargrizim and some went on Harevel. Kachaluk and Ba'avne Ephod. It was the exact same way. That's how they were written on the stones of the Ephod. That refers to the two Avne Shoham by the shoulders of the Kohen Gadol. So the names of the Shvatim were written in the same fashion that they were divided on Hargrizim and Harevel. And Rashi says, "My vachetzio b'Yoshua hachiksiv b'Haykra demasnis demasnisin v'chol Yisrael chetzio el mol hargrizim v'hachetzio el mol harevel l'amali l'michta v'hachetzio." Why does it say v'hachetzio? Demashma o chetzio hamiyuchad o chetzio haniskar v'malkom acher. That sounds like some half that was mentioned in another context. That's why Rav Kahana says, "What is the other context?" The other context is talking about by the stones, the Avnei Shoam. Kederach shechaluk and hashvat and hargrizim v'harevel. It means again in the same way they were divided and hargrizim. It actually says, it lists which Shvatim were where. So too, by the Avne Ephod, by the stones of the Ephod, they were divided in the same way. It says, there were six of the Shvatim on one of the stones and six of the Shvatim on the other. It means the six Shvatim that were on Hargrizim, they were written on one of the stones. And the six of Harevel, they were written on the second one. That's what it means. It means that same half that was written on one of the stones. That's what Rev Kahana says. And the Gemara continues. Meisve, we have the following question. It says there were two good stones that the Kohen Gadol had on his shoulders. Achas mikan v'achas mikan, one on one side and one on the other side. Ushmos shneim aser shvatim kasev aleim, and the names of the twelve shvatim were written on them. Shisha eleven zu v'shisha eleven zu, six on this stone and six on this stone. Shenemar, as it says in the pasuk, shisha mishmosam alo evenu achas v'gomer. Again, it says six names on one stone and six on the other. Shnia kitoldosam. Velo Rishona Kitoldosam. So it means to say, again, this is the first opinion over here, it means to say that on the second stone, they were written in the order of their birth, but on the first stone, they weren't written in the order of their birth. Memnesha Yehuda Muktam. That's only because Yehuda came first, so it wasn't written in totally in the order of their birth on that first stone, because Yehuda had to go first. The Chamishim Osi Osayu, and if you total all of the letters of the Shvatim, it comes out to 50 letters. Esrim Vechamesh Alevin Zuvi, Esrim Vechamesh Alevin Zu. 25 letters on this stone and 25 letters on this stone. That's the first opinion of the Bryce. So again, the first opinion of the Bryce essentially says that they were listed on, their, on the stones according to the order of their birth. Rabbi Hanina ben Gamliel, Omer Rabbi Hanina ben Gamliel, he says, and Rashi over, over here says, Kisoldosam, the first opinion, they were listed according to the order of their birth. Kisader leidosan means according to how they were born. Shisho achronim kisidron God v'yashir yisachar zvul and Yosef u'vinyamin. So on the last stone, it's going to be the last six. God, Asher, Yisachar, Zvul, and Yosef, and Benyamin. Zehu Seder Leidas, and that is the order of their birth. V'shisha Rishonim Nechtivu Ba Yehuda, Ruvain, Shimon, Valevi, Don, and Naftali. And on the sixth first one, so Yehuda just goes first. So it's Yehuda, then Ruvain, Shimon, Levi, Don, and Naftali. K'seder Leidas, and Chutz Yehuda. According to the order of their birth, 
except for Yehuda. V'yesrim v'chamisha al Evenzu, again, 25 letters on each, l'kam and parach shisha achronim, esrim v'yar bohu dehave. The Gemara later will ask that on the on the, the six last Shvatim on the other stone, that should actually only be 24 letters, not 25 letters. And we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daflamid Vav Omid Base.